Whether we like it or not, we're getting older as a society. The prospect of an aging population has been with us for a long time. And although aging in Canada has evolved almost exactly as projected, the outlook is still somewhat shocking. In the coming decade, there will be more than 8 million Canadians over age 65. For the first time, there are now more seniors in our country than children under 14. 90% of people over 65 are currently living with at least one chronic condition, and many with more than one, like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. As Canada's population ages, these chronic conditions will require even more focus. The number of Canadians currently on wait lists for long-term care facilities is still in the thousands, with no end in sight. Many Canadians think that the obvious solution to an aging population is to rely on the government, not appreciating they are merely a recipient of limited care with no control over who treats you, when you receive care, and what services are provided. There is nothing personal about publicly funded home care. It's all about how the individual, the person in need of care fits into the system. Most of the time, there is a gap in the amount of care that is delivered. And so families are in a situation where they're filling in the gaps. Further, government-funded home care services are becoming increasingly more restrictive every year and mainly addressing the more acute, short-term medical needs, leaving the less urgent but no less important activities of daily living assistance to informal caregivers. Informal home care assistance provided by family is not a minor commitment. Averaging 20 hours of dedicated care per week, often resulting in signs of distress, anger, and depression. So, if long term care facilities are overburdened and difficult to access, and the government will not look after us, where do we turn for those of us who will be reaching that eventual stage of infirmity? You can actually ensure yourself and your loved ones for the unknown health support you may need in the future. It's called My Dignity Home Care Assistance, and many Canadians are relying on this very viable solution. My Dignity is all about the person. It's a, a, a policy that the person can determine how, when, where, and what kind of service is provided to them. My Dignity Home Care coverage can provide benefits such as personal support workers, home conversion expenses, meals, transportation expenses, health monitoring systems, medical supplies, wheelchairs, physiotherapists, and a host of other services depending on the policy you select. It's person-driven care as opposed to systems-driven care. A policy that leads to peace of mind, all procured with no medical checkup. Just a simple questionnaire. Your care, your way. Independence has always been uh, important to my wife and I in other parts of our lives. And the uh, my dignity uh, service and what it provides allows us to continue to practice our independence by living in our own home. As a caregiver as well as a healthcare professional, seeing needs from both sides of the system, I would definitely recommend people invest in a My Dignity type plan for financial security, for peace of mind, and knowing that those resources are going to be needed at some point in the future, possibly even sooner than you might think. In our own particular circumstance, I reckon my father's care on the first two-year average was about $122,000. So in my personal family's income tax bracket, that meant my parents needed to liquidate some $200,000 just to ensure that my dad was safe. I am glad I accepted it, and presently I'm introducing it to my family and my friends. I've already referred people uh, to my dignity who are friends of mine or business associates. A policy that leads to peace of mind, all procured with no medical checkup, just a simple health questionnaire. As all the facts and figures of our aging population are analyzed, pondered, and fretted over by millions of us, there's a simple solution to at least ensure that we can be looked after 
when we can no longer look after ourselves. So take time to prepare now and secure your dignity your way.